Hey guys, Tim Stump from Technique Peak. Just want to go over a visual that I find very helpful in my shoulder patients. We've adapted this from Leonard Funk from the UK and also uh, Warren Harding from uh, Cincinnati. He's an orthopedic surgeon there. So patients being very visual, very visual learners, sometimes it's hard to say, hey, I don't want you going above 130 degrees or uh, can you only go to 45 degrees. So these green zones, obviously, safety okay so if someone is during the initial phases of rehab and they're during a protective phase say after a labor repair um, and you want the doctor says I want to limit range of motion for up to 90 degrees into the plane of the scapula this you just basically will check off all right you're allowed to uh, go in the green zone okay so from a uh, overhead sagittal view you have here up to the plane of the scapula all right uh, as the patient progresses and physiological healing occurs and you can progress their range of mo motion safely, then we'll have them exercise range of motion into the yellow zone, okay? You can also relate this to strength exercises. So you might have someone where you check off, you're allowed to actively or passively lift your arm into the yellow zone, but I don't want you exercising there. I only want you strength training in the green zone. Um, and then obviously the red zone is something that you may say these are precautions going forward. I don't want you, if you're doing bench pressing or dips, to have your humerus go past the midline of your body, whether it puts too much stress on your pec, uh, tugs on the anchor of the, the biceps, tendon, long head of the biceps, or stress on the rotator cuff, or going overhead. You know, a lot of patients feel as though they, can, they need to do behind neck lat pull downs or behind neck pressing. So, there's probably a litany of exercises where patients will, what, what about this, what about that? And what I do is say, listen, you're fine after discharge. You can do any exercise you want between the green and yellow zone without fear of undoing the good of the surgery, all right? So there might be 10 or 20 different examples of going into the red zone, you just show them. I don't care if it's an overhead squat, a snatch or exercises such as that. If they have a basic understanding of your motion limitations, then they're pretty much free and clear to do the different exercises within that uh, range. Give it a try. Uh, I think visual learning is a, is a good way to communicate with your patients for them, everyone to be on the same page. Thank you.